So good morning and welcome to everyone. Um, it's very nice to see people here. We're just going to have a quick look at a, um, a, a small slide deck just whilst the last few people pop on. Um, it just takes a minute or two. And then we'll go into the main session looking at the new system. Um, it's really nice to see you all. And we'll have a look at a chance for chat, maybe some questions at the end. Okay, so um, what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about our brand new academy. Um, I don't know if you're aware, we've been going for a very long time, the Academy. We've got a great reputation um, and thousands of people use it on a daily basis. What we've done recently is, is upgrade it and make it so much better than it was before. So much user friendly and something that a lot of people really want to start jumping onto. Historically, we started in 2012. Um, it's the first thing we did as Navitas Safety. And over the years, it's improved and improved. You can see 2020, 50,000 users were enrolled, um, 2024. At the very beginning, yeah, 80,000 people have completed training. Currently, I think it's about 147,000 certificates we have supplied. Um, so we're, we're going bigger and bigger all the time and better and better. So I'm seeing that quite a few of you are already on our academy. Um, so you understand why training is so important. There is obviously a legal requirement for safety training to avoid fines and make sure we have the right certifications for when those audits come along. We can reduce the risk to our customers. And if we do that, we actually protect our own brands and our reputation as a company. And if training's done, we have a cultural responsibility where everyone shares the right, or not the right, the, the wants, the need to make sure that everyone stays safe. So what we're looking at, well, it's a brand new system for us. It's fully responsive across all devices. So the great thing about this, as I'll show you a bit later, is it also has an app which is dedicated to itself and also allows you to download courses so that even if your students are offline, they can, can, they can complete them, get them done, and then just sync back up to get their certificates. A really easy way to go. We have a great new admin dashboard, something we haven't necessarily had before, um, but it works really well and it allows us to have lots of different workflows going at the same time and have a little bit of vision of what's going on as well. The platform itself is multilingual. It's 37 languages. Um, I believe the emails is actually 52, including Mongolian. But currently we have um, 37 as the main platform. That's not the courses yet. They're on their way. Um, but the platform itself, which does help, is in 37 languages. And we have dynamic learning paths, dynamic out outcomes. So basically, it can see where people are, it can pick up the tags of what they've done, and it will start to respond and learn and give them a, a point at the end where they can go to and help them progress in this in their journey with yourselves. So the time has come. Let's have a look at the real system. Just give me two seconds to pop off this, and we'll jump onto a view of what we're talking about. There we go. So I don't know if any of you have clicked the uh, the new academy button, if you've already got our training or our academy. If you have, you'd have been taken here. Maybe you haven't made to go further. Um, I apologize for that. It is very shortly on its way to you, which is why we're talking today. Uh, what I'm going to quickly go and do is I'm going to log in as a lady called Crystal Tips, who is an LED manager for a demo company called Folk Food. Now, the first thing I should say is that LD managers and admin roles, we're not limited to one. We can actually have as many as we want per department, per site. So you can share the love, share the workload amongst other people you trust to do so. And there's different levels of roles as well. So you can also decide a little bit about what they're going to do or what they can do. Um, this is the learner screen. It's a bit prettier, a bit, uh, bit more um, branded than the last one. We can change almost anything on here for you. If you've got a standard Navitas background, that's fine. Just let us know if you want it changed. Send us the details or send us pictures and logos, everything else, and we'll do what we can to get it changed to your branding for you. I think it's so important for your students that they have a belief that you're doing their training for them. It brings that, that togetherness within your company. So if we do this for you, we absolutely will. From a learner perspective, it's a very simple dashboard to use. Uh, at the bottom, we have trending courses. These are the courses that overall are trending in your department. 
that will over time will start changing it into recommended as your system start learning and you start seeing where the next steps are for people um, the system will learn that for you um, the main bit though is the central bit for your learners um, we're sitting at uh, my courses to start with if you look in there we can see that we have picture coded course if you like so food safety are knives and forks health and safety is a um, set of bollards fires little fire symbol Algin and Natasha's is um, nuts and things and sandwiches. So we've tried to make it a little bit more visually pleasing as well as easier to decide where you are and what you're doing. If we go into a course, we can see the actual courses really haven't changed that much. Um, they've gone a little bit more unbranded, which is something we'll talk about later. Um, but for now, the main thing is how the system actually looks. Now, there are four views or three views and an extra um, for learners. This is the standard sidebar, which is where they can, if they want to, jump in between levels. I apologize, my internet's a little bit slow here today. Uh, what they can't do, same as before, is they can't jump in between the main areas, the main chapters of the course. They have to finish off level one before they go into level two. And just a quick reminder there as well, that if you do leave a lesson halfway through, then you will lose that uh, the rest of that lesson you have done. So please complete your lessons before you leave. Um, so the other view is a details view. If you want it, it goes down the bottom. This gives you basic information about the course, but also gives you per level what it's about, what score you got, a lot of other details as well. It's just a nice little way of doing things for people. We can combine them if we wish to. So you can have both, which makes it a little bit more squash, but it is all there if you want it. And also a compact view, which is a little bit more sleek and looks nicer. Uh, the only disadvantage of that one, obviously, is you don't have any buttons to press. We like buttons to press if we can. So I'm going to pop that to sidebar because that's my preference. Um, and I'm just going to close it down and leave. That's fine. Okay, so the other thing that's important is top left-hand corner is a logo, your logo. If you press that, it will always take you back to your main dashboard. If you've just been in the course or you want to continue the course you've just been on, the last course you've been on, if you hit resume, it'll always jump back to where you were before. It makes it a lot quicker than having to hunt through courses and look through and find out where you were level-wise. So resources are global resources. Global resources are things that we share with everybody. Um, there's a few things on here which are guides for people more than anything else, but we will start putting global information on. So maybe hand washing posters and from the HSC or something, some basics for everybody to share. Um, currently we have guides for admin and students. Let's pop into the students one for now. Um, let's have a look. There's one for running the basic bash dashboard as it is, the whole thing. And if you want to download a certificate from transcript, it's a nice, simple step-by-step -step guide on how you can do that. As you see, not many steps because the system is so simple. Okay, just popping back. There is an inbox as well. So as an admin or as a, as a MD manager, you can send messages to your people. And if you want to use enrollment keys, you can do. Um, enrollment keys will basically be sent by email. They'll get a code, which is the key. They put the key number in and they'll get the course or the bunch of courses, however you set up the key, put into their system for them. OK. On the right hand side, um, we've seen a lot of these here. There is a calendar. Now, Crystal Tips has not done a great deal, so currently it's not always in there. But this will show any events that come up. It might be a instructor led. It could be face to face. It could be a certificate um, expiry. It could be a we would like you done this course by this date expiry. Lots of things you could have in here. Uh, and then we have the transcript, which is quite important for everyone. There's, there's an admin's version and there is a learner's version. This is the learner's version. As you can see, it has certificates earned so far and the courses they're on and the progress and how they all sit. So they do want to get a certificate from here. Very simply, they just pop on there, click on download, and their certificate is there. For those NAR certificates, as you see, there's a nice, fresh new look to them, um, which we think goes with the, the 
the new academy very, very well. Okay. Now, the other difference is, um, and the great thing about this, because I'm, I'm a true believer that LD managers should have the ability to take the course as well and do their own learning, is that you don't have two logins like we had in the past. We have a single login. And if you want to go to our admin, Crystal Tips admin page, she just goes to admin, clicks admin, and suddenly she's in the dashboard. Okay, this is her admin page. Now, there's a few things on here. We see course enrollment status by department. Um, we can see that in Folk Food, which is this particular department, we've got 72% um, not started, 24% in progress, and just almost 4% who have just have completed. We would hope that would change. Now, if we want to go to our sub-departments, our, our sites, we'll just click on there and say there's no cat and mouse is a brand new department, but there would be cat and mouse's fake, um, stats there as well. We can pop back, okay. Um, also, we can set up five courses. Um, we can change them whenever we want to. So if we've just put all our people on a particular safety bite, for example, then we can change this to a safety bike we've done and we can see automatically the progress and how they're doing overall. We see all the logins over the last seven days and the recent things that we have done as an admin will be listed here as well. And if we need to, we can pop back into one of those and it will show. And lastly, on the dashboard is reports. We can see reports and save reports. Anything you've set up reports wise, and we'll look at reports in a minute, will show in here just for you to click on, reopen up, it's just a nice, easy, simple way of finding what you've, the work you've done, reports you've done. So on the left-hand side, we've got a few little buttons. The first is courses. I think there's really only one button here that's really um, sticks out, which is the courses one. Now, depending on um, how you how you sort yourself out with us and what course you've decided, the general bundle is 50 courses now. It has increased a little bit. And all 50 will be in here for most people. Um, again, very simple. We can, if you want to enroll people, we go on here. We go and enroll user. Now we can set up groups, or if it's a particular person, we can just pick them off the list. Let's cancel that for now. So the other important thing I want to point about courses is that we have different types of courses. We have course bundles, which you can set up. Now, course bundles make life very easy, especially when you are looking at the fact that you want to do auto enrollment. So if a chef joins, you want to give them a chef bundle. It makes it very simple. You just literally pop in to make a bundle. Um, I'd leave inactive for now. You can choose the name of it and you can add what courses you want into it. So if you want fire training, then the fire training will be in there. You can add as many courses as you like. And they'll be there for you to be saved as a bundle under that name. Now it just gets enrolled like a normal course. It can also be set up as a bundle so that if a chef joins or a fire marshal joins, they automatically, when they first join the company, get the bundle you have set up. The other thing we can do um, is add instructor courses. Now, instructor-led are either by video or face-to-face -face or however you want to do it. Now, these are great because, A, you get a certificate at the end. You can set up venues. You can set up everything else you need to do for them. Um, you can send out messages. You can do chasers. You can do reminders. But the other great thing as well is on a particular course, if it is being set up as instructor-led, you can ask the candidates, the delegates, the students at the other end, for example, if you something silly, if you if you sent out an instructor or an instructor was doing a course on how to cut a carrot, which is a bit simple, but possibly um, at the end of the course, maybe they were given a week to send back a video of themselves cutting a carrot, and they won't pass the course until the instructor has seen the video and said, "Yeah, fine, we we know now that you can do it." So it's like a physical check that can be sent back via video. Some people love it, some people don't but it's an option you have now. We can also set up timed and scheduled, whether that's as a pre-enrollment or auto-enrollment or anything else. So for example, you get level one or you get course one, and then five days later, say two, a month later, three, six months later, four, however you want to do it, we can set those up for you very, very quickly and easily. Another great way, especially on induction, 
to make sure your learners doing the right things at the right times. You can also set up courses so they're required to complete them in a certain number of days or months or have them do it. Um, I know that recently I've had clients who's asked for all her courses to be set up one month. So they've got one month taken or she gets a quick report that says this person hasn't done it. So users, fairly standard, but a few lovely little tricks in here. Um, the user set of people on here. We can add a user very simply, just add user. Um, first name, last name, email address. We do tend to like to use email addresses as usernames if we can. It just makes life a lot easier, but it is up to you. Um, but also what we can do, if we just select one person, uh, we can edit them. We can duplicate them. So if you've got someone who's got a particular set of roles or um, other information that's the same as someone else and you want to do a quicker setup, you can duplicate someone who's similar, just change their name uh, and email address and save, and they'll be the same setup, but with the new name. Uh, we can in, um, get into their transcript. Now, there are big advantages to this if we need to. Uh, this particular person hasn't done a lot, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> but they can pop into it and we can see what they've done. Okay, and what times? And if we have to, if there's a real problem, uh, and it's something we'll do a guide for, we can look at how we can help people get past the problem or maybe the system's got stuck. Although to be fair, um, record-wise, this particular system hasn't gone down for over four years, so one would hope that would never happen. Um, it is known to be a very, very stable system we're using in this case. Okay, so yes, we can do that. We can view the certificates we've got any. And if we set up a credit system, which we haven't at the moment for this person, we can see how many credits they've, they've earned. Um, but it's up to you. Just pointing back to users, check the same person. So also we can message them, we can reset their password, and also merge. Sometimes we have two different admins who set up the same person, or over time maybe someone's left and come back, and that's it, and you want to bring them together into one particular person. You can choose them, you can do merge user, choose the other person you want to merge them with, that's them as well, and they'll they'll make into one. Okay, it makes life a lot easier. And maybe when someone comes back and rejoins and you've set them up new and realize it's a simple job just to make them into one single user. The other thing we can do, which we love, is the fact that we can impersonate. So for those who've been lost before, you know that we quite often will jump in just see what you're seeing. Well, as an admin now, you can do the same thing. So if I want to see what John Cleves is seeing, I hit impersonate. And I very simply, I'm in his system. So I can see the courses on, I can see if he's got a problem. Um, I can pop into the courses, I can do everything that he can do. And when I'm done, I simply stop impersonating and I'm back to me again. Okay. Uh, so that's a quick look at users. Now, the really great thing about this system is the reporting. Yes, we have the basic uploads, summaries, learner competencies, activity, all that sort of stuff. But we also have something called Analyze Essentials on here, which is fantastic. As you can see, I've already set up something called Cert Expiry, and I do know that every week I get an email from Folk Food that gives me a view of the certificate expiries that are coming up. Great tool, works really well. Uh, what we can do, though, is we can add any. And the great thing about this is if we do, as you can see it here, we have an awful lot of things that we can cross-reference and match into pretty much any report we want to have. And we'll save it. And then we can add filters into it if we want to. So it only does certain departments, certain people, certain anything else you want to do. We can sort the order before it gets sent out. And then we can also schedule it so that it will be sent out to a particular email or a group of emails or whoever you want to do um, on a regular basis. So I know another one of my, my demo systems, I have it set up every day at 12 o'clock, I get a report coming through and it does, it appears every single day, works really nicely. Okay. Um, so on the right hand side for learn for an admin, there's just a few things here. Accessibility is also available as a learner, but we can look at um, a couple of things change. We can look at the highlights. Um, so if there's certain things that should be focused and highlighted, it'll automatically do it to make it easier. 
and we look at distinct patterns to differentiate on different differentiate on chart elements if we want to as well. Uh, one thing I do want to show you actually, whilst we're here, whilst we're on users, is a new type of course. Um, I'm actually going to jump into Basil Brush as it happens. We impersonate Basil. Now this is something that a lot of our people, uh, a lot of our clients, are really liking the idea of, and that's e-signature. Very simply, you load up a PDF, a document, or something, um, whatever you want to have confirmed they have read and they have done and they've made sure they've understood it. And then when they've done the read, they come to e-signature required, and they'll need to log in and confirm they have done it, in which case you'll get a record that they have signed and they've done, they've agreed to it. A nice way of doing things. Just stop impersonating for a second. Okay, so also we have um, changed password for ourselves. We can change a few of our settings. And if you want to, as we've seen before, we can pop back to our learner experience. Now, the other thing I did want to quickly show you before we finish up and we sort of move on to other things, it's just take a second to get into it. There we go. Is basically that we do have an app. As I said before, it does actually have everything we need to have on it, and it has everything on there. Now, it's great for learners. Um, it's not 100% as good for admin doing admin work, but for learners, it's branded again to your brand. It's not going to show, is it? Um, no. Okay, I apologize. Um, so, branded to your brand, and say so people can download courses so that they, if they go offline, it's matter i know sometimes kitchens can be in basements they can be stuck away and don't have great signal so this allows you if you need to to do courses in that sort of situation and it will sync up again and give the certificates once they're done okay i think that's really a quick run through um it's an amazing system does a great amount of work um it runs really well and it is very very stable if everyone have a chat then or find out more about it, always uh, email hello at navitassafety.com. And I think also that uh, the team here are going to quickly put up some details on the right-hand side. Um, so if you'd like an account manager to reach out, please let them know on this little survey, and they'll come out to you and have a chat, and we'll talk about it. Okay. Um, we're a little bit quicker than expected. Um, if you've got any questions now you want to pop up, then I'm happy to take them and have an answer. If you don't, I'm good with that as well. Okay. Um, I would recommend you at least have a chat and have a bit more personal look at it with us. Um, the team myself are happy to have a one-to-one -one with you and have a chat and have a bit further look and a discussion about it. Um, about a course as well. Um, just on the courses, as some of you may know, we're in the middle of a project at the moment to make them multilingual. So it would be a nice idea also if you just let us know by email if you need to, what sort of language you'd like and how you'd like to set out, because we are happy to do that um, and try and sort it out for you. And I'll just pop back on chat. Okay, so um, existing courses finish the old academy. So the plan is migration wise, if you're currently old academy, We'll migrate you onto this one. We'll give the LD managers a month to have a play and put any new people and new courses onto the new one, which will give old users a chance to finish off their old ones on the old academy, um, at which point we'll move everyone over. If we, we don't want to just make your guys lose what they've already done or what they've, they've gone through. Uh, we'll also be moving all your historical certificates over so that you can have access to them at any point as well. Um, and no, there's absolutely no charge, additional charge for the new academy. Um, it's exactly the same price, exactly the same deal. Um, no difference whatsoever. Which is good, isn't it? Uh, Simon, no problem at all. We'd love to see you on here. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think 
unless you come up with anything in the next few minutes, we'll probably call it a day. We're a little bit early, but I think we've probably covered what it needs to cover on here. Um, just a couple of seconds, just one of questions if you've got them. Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure um, to speak to all of you. And I look forward to seeing you again or chatting with you in the near future about it. Thank you.